Hey there, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is a dollhouse. Um, I've been wanting to do one of these builds for a while now. I thought it'd be really cute and it gives me a chance to really focus on interior decorating. All the time when I build, I usually get really exhausted from the exterior. So doing a dollhouse style build allows me to really focus on the interior and using all these items that I paid for and focusing on clutter and just, I don't know, it's a lot of fun doing this style, the dollhouse style. And if you haven't tried it before, I would recommend because it's actually really fun. In the past I've done rooms, but I've never done a true dollhouse where there's like two levels or something. So. I, I really enjoyed doing this um, and I kind of, it's October, I was feeling the cozy cottagey vibes so my original thought was that this was for a witch. Um, I didn't really put many witch, witchy items in it so maybe it's just a cozy dollhouse style but regardless it's not a functional thing for you to use so it's not like the biggest deal in the world that I don't know exactly who would live here, but I just had a lot of fun using various packs that, you know, it was cozy and cute and it just looks very comfy to live here. And I love all the tones that I used. I started off with the more colorful cabinets, but I definitely changed it to the, the browns, especially the reddish brown. I used that a few times throughout this um, build. Um, I mean, this will be on my gallery, so if you are interested in downloading this and maybe making it into a more functional space, I mean, go for it. Um, there is no bathroom, there's not even four walls to, to close it off, but if you wanted to use parts of it for your own builds, then go for it. I, it's, it's for you. Um, in the footage, there is no sink in the bathroom, but I did remember to put that in after I stopped recording. Um, but yeah, I just had a lot of fun decorating with like various books and like I used some Realm of Magic things to try to fit like the whole witchy vibe. Um, so I wouldn't necessarily say this is like a spooky place. I'm thinking this is a nice cozy like loft for a witch. Um, I don't know, I just, I had a lot of fun doing this and I've been wanting to do a dollhouse style for a really long time so I'm really, really glad that I did it because it, I think it helped me feel creative and I'm kind of interested in doing more in the future just to practice different styles and also get like a quick build out because this didn't take me very long and um, it was refreshing and had me excited to play the game, excited to build and so yeah. Um, let me know what you guys think about dollhouse style builds. Um, I've been really enjoying them over on Instagram, but I've never actually seen one on like a YouTube video. So is this interesting for you? I know a lot of people do like exteriors, but interior design is also a lot of fun because I know I personally really love exteriors. I love it. I think it's like curb appeal is such an important part to a build. And that's why I don't put too much focus on the interior because I'm tired by the time I get inside. So this was like a challenge for me to actually like do a part of the building that I'm not used to or a part of the building that I'm maybe not as good at because I don't spend as much time doing it. I kind of rush through it when I'm on the interior. And it was so much fun cluttering it and making it full, making it difficult for your sims to walk through. <laughs> but. Basically, it's downstairs you've got your kitchen, living space, and dining space. Um, very cluttered, um, very cozy, very full. <laughs> and upstairs there's just a bedroom with like a dresser and a bed and a, like a little seat. I imagine if there was a bathroom it would probably be above the living room, um, like if it was an actual finished house, but because I was going for the dollhouse style, it's not in there at all. Um, so it's not a functional build, but a cute one <laughs> and if you are interested in seeing my edits for the this build you can follow me on my socials i definitely will be posting it on all of them um particularly instagram is probably where you'll want to see 
but um, yeah, check out all my links in the description down below for those socials. Um, and yeah, so that was this video and I thank you guys for watching it. If you liked it, hit that like button. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. I would greatly appreciate it and I will see you in the next one. So bye everyone!